Hello, hello. So one of my New Year's resolutions was to not moan about technology. So I'm not going to moan about technology. I'm just going to explain that yesterday had some major iPad issues. It touch wood. It, it we might be able to film, but I could only film like one and a half minutes yesterday. That was it, one and a half minutes at a time. Um, so let's see, let's see. Um, I did actually film a bit, obviously, before I realised the camera wasn't filming. Um, I'm going to do some paint texture today. I'm going to keep this very short, sweet and simple. One, because it's for our sample book and two, we're just going to see how the filming goes. How the film, this is a test. <laughs> so I pulled out a few pages from the sample book. I've got some cotton rag paper, some packaging paper, um, and a piece of watercolour. Now you can see these are two, this is a cotton rag piece. This is what I actually did yesterday before I realised the camera had stopped. So I'm going to redo that. I'm going to start with this one. And this is pretty much about using things you have around your house and it's stopped filming again hasn't it has it no hopefully it's just the software then it's the... Ooh, yeah okay software's not working but looks like the the ipad might be so these are just a few things that i pulled out this has just got a some holes in i've got some tops from bottles eye drops and things like that um ink bottle top i think this was a paint top squash bottle this is for holding charcoal i've got a battery which is probably not the safest thing to use but it's pretty cool um i've also got a pencil here some bubble wrap some um this is some tape that you use for plasterboard okay so just got a few little bits Nothing important, nothing um, technical, apart from the palette knife. That's the only kind of art supply I've got here. So I used the blue yesterday. I'm going to use the pink today. Give this a shake. Oh, please keep filming. So I'm going to start with a bit of pink. So palette knife, and all I'm going to do is just drag it along the paper. Now... You get instant texture just by adding some colour. When you're using this cotton rag paper, it's not quite the same on this side because one side is slightly more textured than the other, but that instantly gives you some texture on your page. If you don't have a palette knife, this is a divider from a um, craft supply box thing, kind of thing. You can do exactly the same without a palette knife. And you can also get some lines. So this is just about mark making. Nothing technical, nothing complicated. Just getting texture onto a page. So let's have a go with some of the circles. I'm just going to move a little bit of paint about in there. Get some paint lids. Okay, so instant texture, um, just using some different paint, um, different tools. I'm going to move that one aside. I'm going to grab the watercolour paper next. Um, now for this one, I'm going to use a stencil and um, I'm going to do two different things with this stencil. So this side, I'm going to grab some of my pink paint and because this is quite thick, it's not going to go through the stencil properly. So I'm just going to rub some paint roughly through this stencil. But like I said, the stencil is really thick, so it's not really going to push the paint, or I'm not going to try and push the paint very well into this stencil. Got a hair. Okay, so that's quite a rough looking pattern. But what I'm going to do now, and this is a Seth Apter idea, is I'm going to move my stencil to a clean piece of paper and grab a baby wipe. And I'm basically going to clean off my stencil by rubbing over the stencil. 
and you'll see we've now got more texture using that stencil but basically that's the clean off so that's very uneven, gives us quite a grungy kind of texture with our paint. And this is more of a, a subtle look because we're actually using the baby wipe with the paint. Um, I'm gonna, uh, let's try, yeah, I'm gonna grab the blue now. Another tin. I love tin lids for using paint. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this one and I'm just gonna rub my paint using my palette knife across this piece of um it was a piece of packaging came in some box or other and i'm gonna just stamp with this random piece now you can see where the paint has pulled slightly there okay so that's quite cool and now obviously there's not as much paint on there this time let's do that again brilliant so the other piece I have is this piece of tape. So again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it two ways. I'm going to move the paint through this tape. Oops, that's not going to work. There we go. <laughs> I moved it. Sorry about that. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that piece to stamp with. So now we're going to get a really nice texture. Right, my heat tools are not actually, um, they're not attached at the moment from the, from the move round. So I'm going to just apply that again. Add some blue over that pink. love it love it that's one of my favorite things love that okay let's try a little bit of the bubble wrap now move that over there so i'm just going to literally dip my bubble wrap into my paint and add some surface But of course you could do these techniques using different colours as well. So that we've got lots and lots of texture on that page now. So let's try the bubble wrap on the packaging paper just to use up some of this paint. I'm going to turn that round and use the pink on the other side. Okay, let's add a little scraping of blue if we can still get it on here. Just to use this up. And that's a bit dry now. Okay. Right, so we've got texture just using things we have around the house and the stencil. So that's pretty cool. It's not too bad, is it? Okay, quite like this one. This is my new um, splatter brush because I do love adding texture with splatters. Who doesn't? I'm going to bring in, hopefully this is not going to make things too dark. I'm going to bring in my splatter box splatter brush now I've got two pieces left I'm going to add some to those as well but I'm just going to lay that in there now in this in this paint tray I've got some black Mars black acrylic I'm going to add that now I know this is probably going to be way too thick so I'm going to add with my pants water sprayer oh this is the second one of these i've had now there is some blue still in there but that's okay i don't mind that i'm gonna get some of that off because like i said i have no idea how this is going to work and here we go <gasps> love it how cool okay so that's our 
first black one. Let's try this on here. Just get rid of that paint, some of that. Love it on that as well, beautiful. Now I'm gonna bring in this one again and I'm gonna add some paint to that. going to bring in my book and I'm going to have a quick look through to see what else might look good with some paint splatters on. I'm going to add some paint to this piece. Our splatter box back. Make sure you can see. That's okay. Let's let's go for it. Have a bit of paint on. just so we're mixing techniques and see how that looks. So we've got some paint onto our decoupage. That's some paint onto rag paper. That's a mix. That's got no splatters, but that's okay. Not everything needs to be splatters and that's just splatters on the, on the, what's this? Packaging paper. Splatters on the packaging paper, right. I want to try one more thing. So I've got this piece of packaging paper. I'm going to bring my splatter box back in. I'm going to just remove that piece of cardboard from the back. It just this is this got very very wet with inks when I was making my last journal, which I will share very soon. I will share it. I'm going to put in my stencil. I'm not worried about that being perfectly and I've got no idea how this is going to work but let's give it a go and I'm just going to splat everywhere over that. Now let's just lift that off. It's given us something, hasn't it? It's given us something. I'm just going to bring this back in. And I'm going to use my stencil. And I'm just going to put it... Actually, I'm just going to put it on... Oh, let's do this whole side. And see if we get anything off that. Well, we've got more splatters. You can kind of see a little bit of pattern there. Right, well, that is my experimentation for my samples done with paint texture today. Um, I will be back. Um, I have, I really have to work on this compendium kit. I'm desperate to get it going. Um, whether or not this, it comes out today, I don't know. We'll see. But thank you for joining me. I hope you got something out of that. That's not a bad sample, I don't think. Thanks for joining me. See you soon. Bye.